Hello and welcome to All Brains Are Awesome. Today we are going to talk about inviting friends to play. So when a friend is thinking about entering Wii mode and wanting to play with another friend, it might begin with inviting that friend to play with them. They might say something like, do you want to play something? You know, for example, do you want to play Frozen? Or do you want to play Legos? Do you want to play Paw Patrol? That kind of thing, you know. Then the other person responds. Okay, so usually the choices for responses to invitations look something like this. Number one, yes. That's what you say when you want to play and you're available. Number two, no, because I'm not available. Like, no, not right now. And that might be because you are actually in me mode or you're doing something else or for some other reason you are unavailable. You would want to play if you were available. So that's a no, not right now. Number three, no, you know, because you actually don't want to play that. And if you're going to say no or no thank you, usually you offer an alternative. So, so let's say your friend asks you, do you want to build an ice cream cone and you're not interested in ice cream? Well, then you can say, no thanks, but do you want to build a snowman? And then the first person can decide. Fourth response choice is, well, sometimes you just need a little bit more time to think about it. So maybe you need a minute to think about it. Maybe you need more information. So what that looks like is, ah, I need a minute. Huh, I don't know that game. What's that about? So one, yes, two, no, not right now. Three, no, and you give an alternative. Your self-advocacy response. Need more time, need more information. Here's the deal. You are awesome. Friends are gonna like you. And they're gonna invite you to do stuff. The thing is, they may not know your brain. So as a general rule, when people invite you to play, they like you and they are looking to have fun with you. However, when some brains receive an invitation, they feel pressure. And when they feel pressure, bam, flip their lid. Out comes downstairs brain. They like you. Downstairs brain just gets overwhelmed and nervous or scared. So downstairs brain may say no right away and close the door to conversation and playing. Or they might even be too nervous to talk. So they kind of have a blank look and they don't say anything. That's because they flipped their lid and downstairs brain is not allowing them to talk. So if you notice that your friend is looking uncomfortable after your invitation to play, they may actually have flipped their lid very quietly and are kind of overwhelmed and nervous. So you can give them a little space and maybe even say something to lower the pressure. You know, like, you should take your time to think about it. Or you could even um, do your inviting without asking questions. For example, I was thinking about building a snowman. Or number two, how about we try building a snowman? I was gonna build a snowman if anybody would like to join me. I, I was thinking it might be nice to build a snowman. I had an idea about building a snowman. All these different ways are still inviting a friend to join you without asking a question just to make your friend's brain more comfortable. 
So if you have that kind of brain where questions or invitations to play are overwhelming, go back and watch my video about how to handle that. Basically, it comes down to pause, breathe, bring back upstairs brain. So I hope this overview of invitations to play and some example responses was helpful. I also hope that now um, all brains know um, how to support other brains uh, during uh, what is sometimes stressful, even though they want to play. The actual invitation question can be stressful. So um, hopefully now everybody knows about that and what you can do to help your friends during those times. Our next video is going to be Anna and Elsa playing with these ideas. Stay tuned for next time. And in the meantime, remember, all brains are awesome, especially yours.